Welcome, this is Keith from Offlix.com bringing you a tutorial on, on install, installing OpenStreetMap maps on the Garmin Edge 520. This is uh, specifically for Windows computers. First thing you go to Garmin.OpenStreetMap.nl you se select uh, Keep Generic Routable, um, choose your predefined country, and you click on that. You're going to click on the uh, tiles, well excuse me, then you're going to have to click on the box that says Enable Manual Tile Selection. That'll allow you to limit your file selection. And that'll, because uh, the Garmin Edge 520 device only has a limited amount of onboard memory and there's no external memory card. So you're going to want to keep it just to play it safe somewhere in the range of around 50 megabytes. So you click on the tiles of the areas that you want included in your area. And on the uh, far left hand side, you can see that it'll show you the total megabytes in size that the file currently is. So you, at this point, you know, you could either modify the file a little bit more or you can enter your email address and uh, click on the build my map button when you're satisfied. Once you do that, you'll come to this confirmation screen. It'll tell you to expect two emails and after you receive those emails, uh, you can proceed to the next step. The first email looks like this. It says that you successfully uh, requested a map. And the next email will be the one with your link. And that'll look like this. You'll click the link at the bottom and download the zip file with your um, map file included. You'll look for the one with the little micro SD icon. And that will... Um, that will be the correct one to use for this instance. You'll see the uh, map downloading. Most likely, it'll be downloading to your download file uh, folder, but uh, you might you may want to um, save that onto your um, desktop to make it easier uh, for later. Once you do that, you can uh, connect your Garmin Edge 520 device to your USB drive on your computer. You should see it located as one of the uh, connected drives. And at this point, you are now browsing your Garmin Edge 520 device. You click into the Garmin folder, and uh, if you follow the, follow the instructions on offlix.com, it'll tell you you're going to need to look for the map GMAP BMAP. Um, this one says gmap bmap.img, but I think in Windows the uh, file extensions are hidden, so um, disregard the IMG for, for right now. And there we see it right there, gmap bmap. Those are the files. You're probably going to want to copy them and uh, into a new, create a new folder on your desktop, just so you can make a backup copy of those in case something goes horribly wrong. And you need to revert, and without resetting your whole device, you can just drag those uh, map files back into your Garmin Edge 520, and you should be back, ready to go, and back to normal. It'll take a while for those to copy over to that uh, folder that you created, but once they do, this is the major step. Uh, before, uh, before you unzip those files, well, go ahead and unzip those right now. Okay, there's the file. You're going to need a program to unzip these files. You may want to pause and download the program if you don't have one right now. But you'd want to extract these files, most likely to your desktop, to make it easier to find for later. And there you go. You'll have one folder that you want to rename. And you'll want to rename that to GMAP BMAP. A step I left off on this next one is uh, these two files, the GMAP BMAP, mainly just the GMAP BMAP, you should right click and delete that file right now and then empty your trash folder before moving on to this next step um, because that might cause some problems. If you just do the file, uh, replace the file in the destination, you might have some issues. So I would just empty it out of there and then just copy it straight over without replacing if you have any problems with this. I mean, this might work too, but uh, just to avoid any problems. At this point, once it's moved over, your uh, new map is now on your Garmin Edge 520 and you can safely eject the device from your computer. And hopefully when you um, 
unplug, restart your Garmin Edge 520, everything should be working just fine.